there are a few key things that are happening. One is that the technology is getting much smaller. A lot of the people here will remember how big cell phones were not that long ago. Now we have this tremendous capacity in the palm of our hands. Uh, the original cameras weighed upwards of a thousand pounds. Now you can get exactly that same capability in a 30 pound system. What does this mean? Well, it means we can put them aboard small drones. Uh, I spoke to one engineer who said that he could assemble a swarm of drones that would be able to surveil the entire island of Manhattan with this wide area view. Do you know how many drones he would need? 76. That's not a great number of drones. If each one costs a couple of thousand dollars, that is so much cheaper than a single one of these original cameras. And somewhat troublingly, I could go online on Amazon tonight and buy a drone myself. Right? Another thing that's happening is that the technology is being automated. And that's something that we really need to think about, too. As one source told me, we all like to joke that we were creating Big Brother incarnate. But really, it takes a million people to watch a million people. You record this whole view of Manhattan. And if you want to watch thousands of vehicles, you need people clicking on the little pixels in the screen, tracking people wherever they went. Well, that is in incredibly labor intensive, obviously. What if, with artificial intelligence, you clicked on a vehicle and said, tell me everywhere it's been and everywhere it's going? Not only that, tell me every other vehicle that is associated with this vehicle. Now that the work that took the CIA weeks in order to unravel this network can be accomplished automatically. There's more, though. Say you want to prevent crimes before they happen. Well, there are a number of things that will tell you that a crime is about to occur. Vehicles that are associated with violent assaults, for example, are often seen to exhibit a very consistent set of driving behaviors in the lead up to the crime. They will drive around aimlessly. They will do sudden U-turns uh, in areas where people are generally not prone to exhibit that type of behavior. Well, what if you said to this computer vision algorithm, tell me every time a car exhibits suspicious driving behavior in this city? And then it will be able to tell you every time a person does a dodgy U-turn. In fact, when I was uh, on my way to a company developing that very technology, I got lost in my car. And I had to drive around aimlessly for a while and exhibit the very, the very uh, behaviors that would have flagged me as a threat. So you have to keep in mind that while the technology that we already have is extremely formidable, once it is automated, you really reach that holy grail of all-seeing surveillance. Fortunately, these systems have not been fully automated yet. In that regard, we are still somewhat ahead of the curve. We are also somewhat ahead of the curve in the sense that it hasn't been deployed <coughs> widely in US cities yet. And so I know that seeing all these technologies emerge, uh, it, particularly in the context of all the other surveillance technologies that exist, I mean, Facebook and Google gathering all our data, CCTV cameras everywhere, license plate readers, it's very easy to be pessimistic. In fact, I had a rather uh, exhausting interview with, with someone who clearly had no hope for the, for the future. They said, we are headed to a t toward a total surveillance state and there's nothing we can do. Well, if everyone agrees that we need regulation, my contention is, is, is that it is the people who are optimistic who will actually make that legislation happen. Because people who are pessimistic about our prospects have no reason to act. And so on that note, I would just share the fact that even though I spent uh, the better part of four years of my life investigating technologies that generally kept me up late at night with visions of an overwatched future, I remain very positive about our prospects. But it is only if we face this future collaboratively with a mutual understanding that we all perhaps have more in common than we might think. 
and that there are solutions to these problems. Mm -hmm.